virtual box new virtual machine and set the name Okay, this is the default directory. Type Linux version Ubuntu 64 bits next. Okay. At least use one gigabyte. Okay, 1024 megabytes. Or use a higher number according your requirements. Next, create a virtual hard disk now. Create VDI, fixed size. A fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create on some systems, but is often faster to use. Next, fix it, next. Okay. Choose any uh, size for the virtual hard disk. I will choose 20. But use a higher number for according your requirements. Then create. Okay, here. Is me my virtual machine? Go to settings. Go to system and processor. Use one or maybe two, according your requirements. On storage, the empty. Drive, choose a virtual optical disk. Okay, add. Ubuntu 20.04. Ubuntu server. Ubuntu server. Okay, open. Okay, select this Ubuntu 20.04 server, choose very good uh, that ISO image. We go to network and I recommend bridge adapter. Choose in my case la gigabit Ethernet. Um, Cable connected. USB uh, can support USB 3.0. Okay, then start. Okay, and choose your language, English, in my case. Okay, the keyboard, select your layout, space to view the options, and for example, select another option. This, in my case, tap, uh, tap, tap, and down, 
enter on down. Now, um, it's configured using the HCP. Okay, enter and you can edit IPv4 or IPv6 addresses. Okay, escape. But I will use uh, the HCP configuration, the HCP before. So you can configure IPv4 and IPv6 later. Once the operating system is installed. Done. No proxy in my case. Done. Use the default mirror, done, enter. By default, is selected just an entire disk, but down here, choose custom. Place uh, a space here. Now, custom storage layout. Okay, custom, and done. If you want to create an LVM group, in my case, I will create uh, a standard partitions. Okay, uh, enter, enter, and uh, add GPD partition. Uh, for example, uh, one gigabyte for the swap use more if you want according your requirements format will be uh, swap enter create okay now go to hard disk enter and add partition uh, do not specify the size because I will use all all the remaining space format format ext4 mount the root create now you have the root and the swap that is enough to install okay uh, you will have the bios grab one megabyte swap one gigabyte and the remaining space for root done continue now set your name your full name server's name username choose password okay done install open ssh server now you can install later you can install this later done okay uh, any of these no Done. Okay, now reboot, enter. Okay, press enter.
Okay, enter login username and password. Okay, very good. Uh, enter, enter. Uh, okay. Wait uh, a minute. This will occur only the first time. Okay. Enter. Mm. IP uh, IP address configuration loopback interface EMP 0 S3 interfacing my case DHCP configuration for IPv6 and IPv4 okay ping uh, for to google.com for example very good. Control C to stop and um, ping six. Very good. Obviously, in my network, I have a DHCP server for IPv4 and also for IPv6.